What is MSUD? First of all, MSUD is a rare disease, so very few people have it. MSUD is not a contagious disease like the cold or the flu. It is not a food allergy either. MSUD is a very special disease that affects your metabolism. The metabolism is the body's mechanisms that transform the food you eat into energy to play with your friends or to work well at school. Sasha is four years old and just like you, Sasha has had MSUD since birth. To understand this disease, let's look at what happens when our friend eats a piece of bread, one of the many foods that contain a lot of protein and therefore a lot of leucine. Like all children, Sasha chews the food until it is cut into small pieces which slide into his stomach and which will be transformed into mush thanks to the gastric juices. This is the first step of digestion. The mush will then go into his intestine where it will be cut and sorted again. Pieces that do not serve his body will continue down the bowel and out later into the toilet. While leucine and other amino acids go to his liver and muscles. When a child is not sick, his liver and muscles work well and they use all the amino acids which make up the proteins, unlike those of Sasha who cannot use leucine. The leucine will accumulate in his blood and poison his brain very quickly. Then Sasha will be tired and will have trouble standing up and thinking. Our friend may also have difficulty speaking, nausea and perhaps vomiting. Ooh. By eating really too much protein and therefore leucine, he will be in great danger and will have to go to the hospital to be detoxified. For this, Sasha must follow an emergency diet. That means no longer eating fruits or vegetables and he must only feed on hypo products and amino acids without leucines. Sasha can also take a blood test to measure his leucine level and receive an infusion for energy. Sasha may also need the emergency diet for colds or otitis or unhealthy eating. In this case, his parents must be very careful and see with the doctors what he must eat while they care for him. To be fit and grow well, Sasha's doctors have prescribed a very special diet that he will have to follow throughout his life. Of course, it is forbidden to eat foods with too much protein because they contain too much leucine for Sasha, such as eggs, fish, meat, dairy products or grains. To be healthy, Sasha must eat a hypo food at each meal, a fruit or a vegetable, and his amino acids without leucine. First of all, hypo foods. They are made specifically for Sasha in laboratories and do not contain leucine. They allow him to have energy all day long. If eating too much leucine is very dangerous, Sasha must still eat a little bit to grow well. That's why the doctors gave a list of fruits and vegetables that he must weigh in shares and eat at each meal. In this list, there are, for example, carrots, salad, or strawberries, which are mm. Sasha's favorite fruits. In addition to hypo products and natural foods, our friend has to take amino acids without leucine at every meal. Since Sasha can only eat very little protein, he is deprived of a lot of amino acids and vitamins essential for the proper functioning of his body and especially his brain. The amino acids and vitamins will help our friend think, grow and develop muscles so that Sasha can play sports. They will also allow Sasha to have beautiful skin and hair. To check the leucine levels, Sasha's doctors also advise to take a regular sample or a Guthrie test. If our little friend follows his diet well, Sasha can continue to play with his friends and maybe someday realize his dream to go around the world.